Chuck Case from Case School of Music in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Welcome to another edition of Liner Notes. Today we're at the school here with the band Oryx. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Doing great. What I want you to do is just introduce yourselves and tell us what instrument you play. Alright, I'm Tristan Tupi and I play guitar. And I'm um, Jacob Williams and I play drums. I'm Duo Shape and I'm the lead vocalist and keyboard player. I'm Alec Daigle and I play bass. I'm Dan Rowe and I play guitar. And you guys are all from Parker, South Dakota, is that right? Uh, Alba Duel. Yeah. Alba Duel. Where's Duel from? I'm from Bridgewater, South Dakota. Bridgewater, okay. Not too far away. No, nah, not too far. So all of you guys are going to be seniors in high school except for Dan, who's gonna, who graduated this past year. Is that correct? Yes, yes. yes. That's great. Well, tell us about Oryx, how it got started. Just uh, give us a little bit of background information here. Well, it started out with uh, me and Jacob. We started jamming probably about, what was it, ninth grade? Yeah. So 2011, and we were just kind of friends, and we just started jamming. I played guitar, he played drums, and we ended up recording this one song demo tape that we ended up showing to Dan Roa, and he liked it, so he wanted to come jam with us. Well, he came and jammed with us, and we started writing new material, like all original songs. Well, then we actually got offered to do a grad party on June 5th, 2011, so that was actually our first show, and that was for Jacob's cousin. And we actually had like a eight song set for that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe eight, I don't remember. And we did a show that night at the local bar in town called Puzzled. And we actually had a different singer and a different bass player at the time than we have now. And then we actually did a couple more shows that summer for probably about two months, just the three of us, Dan, Jacob, and I, doing instrumental. And then we actually picked up Duel at the... County Fair, yeah. Parker. At the Turner County Fair. Turner County Fair. Yeah, okay. So, were you, what was your the first name of your band? Was it Oryx right from the very beginning? Yeah, yeah okay. it was. So, how'd you come up with that name? It's, uh, it it's actually an African antelope. Oh, okay. And it's just... It's the ones that have their uh, horns curved really far back. It just sounds like kind of a cool name. Like, it's, it's different. It looks like a gims buck. Yes. Yeah. There you go. If you don't know what an orx is, you know what he comes back. <laughs> well. Uh. Well, so tell us, you know, how would you classify Oryx? What category would you say, you know, if you're, you know, a lot of times bands rock? You can't yeah. classify Oryx. We're our own thing. What would you call it? Classic rock? Would you call it glam rock? Would you call it metal? Like rock and roll. I, I, just I, rock? I, I, go ahead. We, we kind of have more of a glam rock sound, but I don't really think you can label music glam rock because that's mm -hmm. more of an image. Sure, sure. So I'd say we're that's probably right. more just a rock band. Mm hmm. Might as well. Duel has kind of the glammy image. He's got the full-on leopard pants. You've seen them. Yeah. I, I got to ask you where you shop. <laughs> For your stage clothes. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you when you shut this thing off. <laughs> my, my wife's got a theory, but. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure you could guess. <laughs> So tell me about your musical influences. Who are some of your, your heroes or people that you kind of idolized or pattern you're playing after? You want like individual people? Or yeah, yeah, groups? definitely. Or either, both. Well, I'd have to say the reason I started playing guitar was probably Slash, Guns N' Roses guitar player. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki Six from Motley Crue, Randy Rhodes, Ozzy's and Quiet Riot's old guitar player. Mm -hmm. um, Eddie Van Halen a little bit, not too much. Mm -hmm. But bands, I'd say definitely Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Poison, 
White Lion, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, why those groups as opposed to like Green Day, Blink-182, and things like that? No. I, I don't <laughs> like modern music. Yeah. Okay, well, but tell me why. I take that back. Bruno Mars is about the only one I can stand. He's pretty hip. I, I like Bruno. I like, yeah. he's, he's bringing back like the 70s. I dig it a lot. Yeah. But I, it doesn't really have an appeal to me, I guess, like the modern music. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all, we're all talented guys. Oh, yeah. And we all play our instruments pretty darn good, I think. Mm -hmm. And it says today's music, there's not really any of that talent there, I don't think. I mean, they bring in people that can sing, but there's no really bands that are in the spotlight right now. You know I what, I would be. agree with that. One thing you don't hear in singles on the radio today, guitar solos anymore. Mm -hmm. You just mm -hmm. don't, you mm -hmm. know. And part of it, I think you're right, is the lack of musicianship. That's, I agree, yeah. yeah. What other influence of you guys, Jacob? Uh, it's kind of hard because he kind of named all of them. <laughs> yeah. That that was band for bands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drummers, I'd probably say like Tommy Lee from Motley Crue yeah. and like uh, probably Stephen Adler from like Guns N' Roses. Sure. And, okay. <laughs> this bump. This bump's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duel. What about you? Uh, I um probably my favorite. You know that influenced me would have to be Kiss. ACDC, Twisted Sister, um, The Sweet, Guns N' Roses, too. Mm -hmm. uh, individual people. Paul Stanley from Kiss, he's like probably my you know, my biggest idol. Dee Schneider, of course, with his sister, and uh, Axl Rose, and, you know, just kind of pull them out. I mean, I uh, listen to more than just rock and roll, too, you know. But just what else do you like, listen to? Like country. I listen to a lot oh, of country. Cool. I grew up with that with my parents, too, so... Yeah. And Classic or modern? A little bit of both. Yeah. You know, and a little bit of hip hop too and stuff. Yeah. So, and That's cool. Word. <laughs> Damn stuff. <laughs> Alec? Um, I'd say GNR, Cinderella, Scorpions, and pretty much all the ones they said. And like individuals, probably like Cliff Burton, Duff McKagan, Gene Simmons. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Daniel? Um, I started I started playing guitar because I just became like totally obsessed with Angus Young and ACDC. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have, like a hidden ACDC tattoo here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But uh, then I just you know got on the whole classic rock thing, and then like in middle school I started listening to punk rock, and then just like as I met more people in my life, I started listening to different music. Like I listened to a ton of hip hop, mm -hmm. ton of punk, ton of metal. Yeah. But the you know the old school rock like what we play is just kind of like. Has always been what I've been uh, like exposed to since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. so, like that's it's like always in the back of my mind. Kind of. Yeah. Now, did your parents listen to this, and that's kind of how you yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I noticed that you guys have a new band vehicle. Maybe not new in as far as new to you guys, fairly new, as opposed to uh, like a brand spanking new out of the factory. There. Tell us about your your band bus. Well. uh my father was the one who purchased it for all of us, um, and, and uh, I think John and Heidi Small also had, you know, quite a bit to do with, uh, you know, getting that to us. My dad got it from Clear Lake, um, South Dakota. Well, you know, I mean, it's been a, it's been a hard summer. I mean, we've been working really hard, and the parents and John and Heidi kind of thought, you know, hey, they're working really hard. Maybe we should give them a good surprise. You know, I mean, like everybody deserves a good. You know, like, hey, guys, we got something for you. Yeah. And, I mean, it was it totally changed the whole, it, like, right when we saw it, we all jumped in and we said, we're driving this thing right now. <laughs> and and uh, so we went and cruised around on that for a while. And, it's, I mean, it's really nice because it fits all five of us in there when going to shows and all of our equipment, lights, sounds, everything just fits in there just perfectly, too. Uh, I mean, it. Got to stack a lot of things, but it, it it's really nice. You and know, the, air conditioner works yeah. too. <laughs> the best thing about it, I have to say, is probably the paint job that they got on it too. Yeah. I mean, they didn't just give us an ambulance. They, I mean, they oh, yeah. put our website over the side and put really cool window decals. And yeah. I mean, they totally decked it out. Exactly. Yeah. And like on one side, they actually put like we kind of posed for 
um, photo as if we were like looking out like we didn't they uh, actually took the photo of us but not telling us that we were going to get an ambulance like this was before it oh. so we had no idea yeah. we thought <laughs> yeah. we thought it was going to go for our website yeah. and they were going to put like a crack thing and that's what it was going to be uh. but they actually kind of duped us but <laughs> yeah. they just put the picture on there so it all kind of looks like we're looking out the window it's really cool it's really cool we're all have our hands up against the screen and yeah. oh it works perfect and that's great. great yeah most people tell me that they actually think it's us when they first see it yeah. and they're just like hey wait <laughs> it, it's really funny when we're we're, to, to exactly. There, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny whenever I come to practice or something too. When I'm coming through town or something like that, with it, people pull over to the side. You know, because, I mean that's the law. I got to pull over for an ambulance. So I'm sitting here passing, laughing at people, and then they had to look twice. Is that dual driving an ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> so, so they pull over because they think it's an actual. You know. We got we got we got actually stopped in it last night driving around because my lights were off. Oh, and, 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 and I think the fact that I was driving the band vehicle like saved us because he's like, oh, I know you guys. Yeah. And they suggested songs we should play, and then yeah. he just let us go. So. It was really funny. Yeah. We're above the law. <laughs> we're above the law. <laughs> So every band has some crazy band stories. Can you share one or two? Lately, uh, what just from what I can remember, I don't want to go too far far into depth in my mind, or else I'm going to have a headache. But <laughs> just lately, we had a, that show in Brandon, you know, and um, it was it was really it was it was really hot outside. You know, we had, we had a smaller stage, you know, and it was it was pretty pretty nice. Crazy story. People would come and go and kind of walk by, you know, and then it slowed down towards the end of the show and. Uh, we were doing the song Another One Bites the Dust by Queen and uh, Dan and I were looking at each other and Dan and Alec here were doing a little solo and then I came back in and I started scatting. <laughs> it was it was really it was really funny. Everybody was everybody had a big smile on their face. I mean it sounded good too, but everybody was just laughing at it because it was so funny. It was, and it, oh, it had that just that beat to it. So yeah. I just I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I did it. So Yeah, the same show. We uh we actually had to like last minute we ended up moving all our equipment down on the ground, mm-hmm. and we had just Jacob and Alec up on the little stage we had. And a couple times that night, I'd been jumping up there. <laughs> and I had a big, hole. I had started gotten a, a hole in my pants in a very peculiar area. Because they're tight, you know, and if I lift my leg too high, it's going to rip down my leg. So I started jumping up on stage, and I think it was right before the solo, Sweet Child of Mine, I did it. And my foot, I had boots on. I got caught in a couple cords and I actually did the, like a dive. Yeah. A trip. <laughs> well, of course, you know, being the guitarist that I am, you know, the guitar comes first. Yeah. So you put your guitar up. Well, actually, my guitar ended up stabbing my amp. <laughs> put a hole through my Marshall stack. And then it about tipped over, and I'm just like, I'm watching it tip over, and I'm like, there it goes. And I'll say it tips back. And I just turn it on, poof. Like, Right back into the soul like nothing ever happened. I remember he, Jake, he didn't miss a beat either. It was he just rolled onto his back and just played from the ground. I think my heart stopped for a little bit. <laughs> say you guys are very fun to watch you know and you're very accomplished you know you, you're playing like seasoned pros and actually with all the gigs you've done to date you know I think with every gig you play you get better and better Thanks. and uh, just just really impressed with the guys and folks if you haven't seen Oryx be sure and, and take the opportunity to do that I, I tell you what uh, you're gonna be very impressed you're gonna come away being very very entertained and uh, you're gonna be coming back wanting some more actually for sure
Now, you guys have a new CD out about original material. Tell us yes. about that. Um, like since since like the birth of this band, we've been kind of like throwing around ideas for songs and like writing stuff. But uh, and well, the covers kind of took over for a while. But then like, um, you know, I heard about this guy in uh, Valley Springs, which is like a little bit east of Brandon. Uh, heard about his place and that he, you know, does really good work for a good price, so I, you know, decided to, so I decided that it would be a good time to, you know, just kind of record maybe like a five song thing, which is what we did, and, you know, this would be a good way to just, you know, show people that we do write songs and that we can, you know, and that, you know, we have other things that we, you know, think about too. So where can they get the CD? Shows. Shows? Shows? Do you have a website or? Yeah, on the website, right? Uh, like, yeah, take it. well, no, if you go on the website, It'll direct you to our Facebook, and from there you can shoot us a message or post whatever, and you can you reserve can get a week you reserve on for a next show, or we can you know sure whichever we're working on the other one. Yeah, we're working okay. on getting on iTunes too. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll be the Amazon. easiest way. You bet. For people. And so the address of your website is what? Uh, Oryxtheband.com. Oh. Oryxtheband.com. So make sure. You and no spaces, yeah. no capital letters. Okay. And it's O R Y X. So. Okay. Well, I tell you what, it's been great to have you guys come out. Not, it isn't too often we get all the band members here to, for the, to sit down and talk, so it's great. I, I appreciate you taking the time to do that. It's been great to, to sit and visit with you and get to know you a little bit better. You guys put on a great show, and I look forward to great things from you guys here. Well, once again, guys, thanks a lot for your time, and we just uh, wish you all the best in the future, and just look forward to for continued success for you guys. Thanks, yeah, thanks for having Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Without you in my life If I give up or maybe try again I don't think I'd make it through, my friend I gave you everything I had to give in life But just one try I said if I could turn back the hands of time I said I would make you You've been listening to Liner Notes, produced by Case Studio Productions, 2013.